So I'll be frank, I am not a fan of mornings. When I wake up in the morning, the last thing I wanna do is get out of bed. Nine times out of 10, when my alarm goes off, I have to stop myself from throwing my phone across the room. I turn my alarm off and then I immediately start to talk myself into going back to sleep for 10 to 15 more minutes, as if that'll make some sort of a difference, which it never does. Half the time I can't even fall back asleep, so I'll grab my phone and before I know it, I'm scrolling through social media endlessly without any regard for what's going on around me and despite the fact that I know I have a ton of important things I need to be doing. Then by the time I muster the strength and energy to actually get out of bed, way too much time has went by and all of a sudden, I'm in a rush to get to where I'm going and usually that's work. So now I'm rushing to brush my teeth, shower, get dressed, feed my cat, and then I'm running out of the house on an empty stomach in hopes of getting Getting to work on time, which for me is 30 minutes early. As you can see, my mornings are very lazy, unproductive, and they're reactive. And I really want to take a step back today away from my personal finance content that you're used to seeing from me and really focus in on personal growth. Because honestly, you can't really have one without the other. And as much as I'd like to seem like I have it all together, I'm gonna be real with you, I don't. When it comes to my mornings, that is something that I don't have together at all. And a big frustration that I've had with myself lately is I've been feeling complacent. I haven't been as productive. I haven't been as energized. I've been easily distracted. I've dropped a ton of good habits and replaced them with bad ones like laying in bed, staring at the ceiling, scrolling through social media, and wasting time. And I felt like I need to take control of that before it takes control of me. And something I do is whenever I notice that I don't have my stuff together in one area, I look to someone who does have their stuff together. And I found that a big reason behind my frustration was the fact that I actually dropped my morning routine, ironically because it took up too much of my time. So after looking Looking at several different morning routines of successful people, I decided to check out Matt Diavella's morning routine. And I really liked his morning routine compared to the others because of the fact that his focus is on action instead of thinking and mental clarity. I'm at a point in life where I'm just focused on getting things done. I've, I've gotten past the whole kumbaya, spiritual, meditative slash peaceful morning routine. And I really feel like the start of the day should be focused around being productive. Now I've tried several different morning routines, but I haven't tried anything like Matt Diavella's morning routine, which is wake up at 7 a.m., brush your teeth, stretch for five to 10 minutes, take a 10 to 15 minute walk around your neighborhood, make coffee, light something that smells good, start working for one to two hours, check email. So I've tried Matt Diavella's morning routine for seven days. Here's what happened. First of all, I had to make this morning routine fit my exact situation. So my morning routine did not start at 7 a.m. It actually started at three in the afternoon because I work night shift. And the whole point behind this was to still follow the morning routine and that's by waking up two hours earlier than usual, just like Matt Diavella did in his morning routine. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, it was a huge struggle to get out of bed, especially the first three days. And bro, don't even get me started on day one. I found myself adding minutes to my alarm and I almost talked myself into waiting a whole nother day before trying Matt Diavella's morning routine. But I will powered myself out of bed. I left my phone in the room and from there, the morning routine was actually really easy to follow. I found that when you get out of bed and go straight to brushing your teeth, you're telling your body, hey, it's time to get up, man. You're putting your body into motion and you're not having to think about it because it's such a natural thing to do. And it's a great way to start your morning because you're getting out of bed for a specific purpose to do a specific thing. And in my short time of doing this, now it's automatic. Whenever my alarm goes off, I immediately get out of bed. And for me, that's the hardest part about waking up is actually getting out of bed because I'm on a purpose to do something and that's to brush my teeth. You know what I'm saying? To get rid of that morning stank breath. So after that, I stretch for five to 10 minutes every day and I notice one thing right off the bat. I am not used to stretching and I need to do it more often. Just the pain from stretching alone was enough to wake me up. Athena enjoyed it though. She stared at me the entire time while I was in agonizing pain. What a way to start your day. So then comes the best part and that's putting on pants or in my case, a shirt and taking a walk around the neighborhood for 10 to 15 minutes. Now keep in mind at this point, I still haven't used my phone yet. Matt Diavella talks a lot about staying off his phone while he's doing his morning routine until at least 11 a.m. and that's to limit interruptions. So I tried my best to follow that. And even though I wasn't perfect with it and I didn't completely stay away from my phone, 
phone every single day for those four hours that he stayed away from his phone, it was still pretty easy for me to detach from my phone and kind of stay away from it while I'm in the moment of doing the morning routine. And it allowed me to be fully present and, and active with what I was doing. So I'm gonna be honest, walking through the neighborhood was actually pretty nice. I took a different path every day. And as I was walking through the neighborhood, there were no distractions, no music, no interruptions, just me and my thoughts. Matt Diavella says that this is very therapeutic for him and pretty much replaces meditation. Matt, I'm personally gonna have to disagree with that. I don't find walking to be therapeutic at all. I have a very hard time relaxing and being in a calm, peaceful mindset when I'm moving. When I'm in motion, I am always thinking about something. And honestly, that's when I come up with some of my best ideas. Like I came up with a bunch of ideas for this video when I was doing those walks for 10 to 15 minutes. But even though I don't think walking replaces meditation, I do think walking is much better suited for the morning than meditation is. Because like I said earlier, walking is action. Walking is movement. And it's even scientifically proven that when you're moving, there is much more brain activity going on than when you're sitting still. Like meditation requires a level of focus that someone who just woke up probably isn't going to have. And I know because I used to do meditation first thing in the morning and I used to fall asleep doing it. But a big thing that stuck out to me about walking was that it actually felt like real exercise and I did not feel like doing that first thing in the morning. You know, waking up and taking a walk, not that easy to do. <laughs> Realized that today, but uh, it's day five. It's feeling good, it's nice and cold, so that's waking me up. I like it when it's a little, when it's a little cooler outside, so feeling good, man, feeling good. I say it feels like real exercise. I live in a real mountainous area, so there's a bunch of like steep hills and everything to pass. Like even within your own neighborhood, like you're gonna be going up a lot of inclines. And that's all I'm saying. It feels like it's real exercise. And the reason this stuck out to me is because it's actually really powerful. Because when you get into the habit of doing something that is good for you, despite the fact that you don't feel like doing it, that builds up your willpower and it builds your control over laziness. So I'll be perfectly honest with you, when I first wake up, my mind is all kinds of foggy. Like I can't really think about anything. So I noticed that when I was walking, it, it didn't really change anything. Like when I was walking, there was still a lot of stuff going on in my mind. And usually in the morning, I like to just go ahead and journal out my thoughts and just kind of put my thoughts to paper to act as a way to clear my mind. And I found that when I was walking, even though I was thinking of a million and one things at once, it felt like by the end of the walk, I did clear my mind just because I was thinking of them all at once when I actually felt like I had the time to think about these things. And things that, that are on my mind or, or things that are on anybody's mind, you know what I mean? Like, you know, my future, my my business, my work, my YouTube channel, content that I'm gonna put out in the future, my family, stuff like that. But yeah, by the end of the walk, it did feel like my mind was clear because I kind of got all that stuff that was just on my mind. I, I concentrated on them during that 15 minute walk and it really did do a lot for me. Bro, keep in mind, I'm only like 25 minutes into the routine at this point. That's 20 minutes I would have stayed in bed staring at the ceiling or even worse, falling back asleep for a few more minutes. So next, Matt Diavella likes to make coffee and light something that smells good. If you don't already know, I am not a coffee person and I have absolutely no desire to drink it. So the way I took that is actually drink something that makes you feel more awake, which in my case are two things, water and a protein shake. And both are actually proven to naturally make you feel more awake and alert. Next, of course, was to light something that smells good. Something I got a kick out of was when Matt lit up some sage and he was like, now I'm not into this woo woo stuff, but it smells really good. Hey man, to each his own. I'm not into that woo woo stuff either. So I decided to light some candles. This one in particular is a vanilla and amber scent and it smells amazing. And I actually learned a couple of things by doing this. One, I should have bought candles way sooner. 
And two, I should never be allowed around a lighter, like ever. I burnt my thumb like five times trying to light that candle. And I just wanna point something out real quick. As simple as this morning routine may seem, it actually has a lot of depth to it because it forces you to get up and get active early on within your day while also stimulating your five senses, which is an excellent way to wake up. After all that, I grabbed my water and my protein shake and I started my work. In my opinion, the best part of this morning routine was working for one to two hours. To me, there's nothing better than getting stuff done right at the start of my day. I have so many projects and a variety of content that I wanna put out that I've just felt so limited on time to actually do. And giving myself the extra one to two hours per day has a huge impact on my productivity. So throughout my seven days of trying out Matt Diabella's morning routine, when it got to working for one to two hours, I worked on editing YouTube videos, making outlines for future YouTube videos. I planned out my Instagram content, I had coaching calls, and I was able to start planning out my premium content and my products that are coming out very soon. Again, this was all happening without my cell phone being a distraction. It's almost as if I knew that since I was going to wake up and do a specific thing with a specific purpose, my cell phone was the last thing on my mind. By the time I finished everything, it was 5.30 in the afternoon, which meant it was time to start heading to work. So this part definitely wasn't part of Matt Diabella's morning routine, but I have a solid 30 minute drive to work every single day and to pass the time I put on an audiobook or a podcast. I just feel like listening to music while driving is a huge waste of time and that time can be used to build your mindset and the way I do that is by listening to audiobooks and podcasts. Speaking of which, I've actually been listening to a really good podcast lately. It's called Smart Passive Income with Pat Flynn. And the episode that I've been listening to throughout the entire week of me trying Matt Diavella's morning routine was about creating binge-worthy content, which perfectly lined up with what I was working on during the work section of Matt Diavella's morning routine. Just wanted to throw that out there. So as I pulled up to work more than 30 minutes early, I did the last step of Matt Diavella's morning routine, and that was to check my emails. And that alone freed up a ton of my time while I was at work because I get hundreds of emails a day. So when I was checking them and going ahead and addressing those emails, that freed up a ton of hours throughout the night that I could spend doing something else. So that was very helpful, just getting that done way, way, way early on before the shift even started. Because usually I would be checking my emails little by little throughout the shift, which would take forever. And typically I would never get through them all. I got so much done this week. And you know, this was just an experiment. I was just going to try out Matt Diavella's morning routine. But right now, the way that this is adding value to my life, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I mean, I'm gonna of course suit it and dress it specific to me, but I mean, this is an amazing routine and it's really getting me results that I've been looking for. So I'm gonna keep doing it. So here's some takeaways I have for doing this morning routine all week. For one, when I got past that initial hurdle of just getting out of bed, I felt a lot more energized and I didn't find myself dreading the day like I usually do when I wake up. I mean, some days I got five hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, seven hours of sleep, six hours of sleep. I mean, the number literally changed every single day. So it wasn't necessarily like the, the energy that I felt came from sleeping at a decent time and waking up at a decent time. It was more of just the fact that I had a definite reason to wake up that to me is what related to that energy. Because for me, I found that when I have a purpose, I then have control over my routine. When I don't have a purpose, when I don't have control over my routine, that's when everything comes crashing down. That's when I'm sitting there second guessing myself and I'm talking to myself, telling myself a real convincing story, go back to sleep. Uh uh, nope, you're gonna be tired, get you another 10 to 15 minutes. That's what I'm telling myself, and then I do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's the that's where the distractions come from. That's when I scroll through social media for several minutes. Next thing I know, I'm running late. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, you gotta be in control. So that's why it's important to have that purpose. So that's the first thing I learned is having that purpose is what'll keep you energized and driven to get everything accomplished for that day and it sets the tone for the entire day. Number two, morning routines teach you discipline on a daily basis and in life, discipline is so, so, so important. Like for this particular morning routine, waking up two hours earlier than usual, that's not something that most of us feel like doing. Getting up and walking for 10 to 15 minutes around the neighborhood, that ain't something that most people feel like doing. 
Don't even get me started on working for one to two hours. Most of us don't want to do that. But that's what separates the men from the boys, so to speak, is is getting yourself in the habit of doing things that you don't feel like doing because that is what separates it. that action that you're doing even though you really don't want to do it you'd much rather be under your warm covers and, and just relaxing but you're actually putting in that work and you do this every single day the other guy over here is sleeping you're over here putting in work so guess what? You're going to get the results. So this is the conversation that I was having with myself as I was discovering and learning this morning routine because it really is working wonders. Think about the amount of discipline it takes to do that consistently every day, even on weekends. And number three, this one really hit home for me because guess what? You wake up two hours earlier than usual. That means you have two hours more every single day for the entire year, assuming that you actually do the morning routine every day. Guess what? That's 730 hours per year, which if you convert that to days, that's 30 days of, that's 30 days extra that you have to make stuff happen. A story that I was always telling myself was, I don't have time to do this. I have so much I want to do, but so little time. Well, there's a 30 days right freaking there. This is what I was telling myself. That's, there's your 30 days. You have 30 days extra on top of the time that you already have to make your dreams and make your goals a reality. And the whole reason I have this conversation with myself is because I got tired of my own mess. I got tired of just realizing that I didn't have my stuff together. So I did. I handled it. I took care of it. I implemented something that gets results and I'm going to keep doing it. Bro, please do the same thing. But at this point, bro, I feel like it's counterproductive to not have a morning routine. So I would feel crazy by, you know, leaving this video, t speaking all this motivation and telling you that I tried something that actually added value to my life just to stop doing it. No, I'm totally going to keep doing it again. I might just suit it more to me and fine tune it a little bit. But as far as this routine goes, yeah, I'm going to keep doing it because it adds value. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so that you can control you, control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, stay cold.